All right, I'm going to tell you about the time that testosterone replacement therapy almost killed me. Now, I will say jumping into this video, and I mentioned it in the previous video that I was going to talk further into this one. So I'm going into this with my own, uh, I guess, my own experience. Uh, obviously, not a doctor or anything like that. So anything I say in this is my own kind of thoughts. Obviously, my own experience. Uh, I'm, I'm not suggesting anybody try anything. I'm not telling anybody to go out there. This is safe or unsafe. Basically, just a disclaimer that uh, I'm talking about my experience only. So take anything I say in this one with a grain of salt. But I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this one. So I uh, mentioned it in the previous video, trying to lose weight again. And one of the things that I mentioned in the previous video, one of the things that it kind of helped me or made me gain weight was the fact that I started to do testosterone replacement therapy. Now, that doesn't necessarily, or it doesn't usually, I guess, make people gain weight, but I'm going to tell you exactly how I gained weight from basically taking this. But let's go way back and I'll tell you exactly why I decided to get on testosterone replacement therapy in the first place. All right, so years and years ago, I lost a ton of weight. If you've been following the channel or if you went back and saw any of the previous videos, and I'll try to put some pictures up right here, I uh, used to weigh around 360 pounds, basically what I weigh right now, which is unbelievable. I uh, lost 160 pounds and then started to put some back on with eating right, uh, lifting weights. All right, so I was basically doing that, lifting weights, eating right, doing everything I needed to to basically go after the physique, the body shape that I had wanted for years and years. And I was doing everything the right way. Like I said, I was eating right, going through, counting macros, doing everything that I knew to do, and it worked absolutely perfect. I felt great. I was gaining muscle in all the right areas. Uh, and then Basically, when it started to go south is when it goes south for a lot of people, and that's obviously when you start to get a little bit older. And for me, that was right around like the 42 or 43 age. And for context, I'm 47 now. So right around like 42 or 43, I started to uh, basically go down as far as like testosterone levels, uh, strength levels, I uh, started to sleep a little bit worse. Kind of right around 42, 43 is when everything started to basically take a 180 and start to go downhill a little bit. So it was a little bit harder to lose weight, a little bit harder to gain muscle. And of course, I started to get injuries like I mentioned previously. My shoulder started to hurt a little bit more when I was lifting weights. Tried to do everything around that, uh, taking time off, which I mentioned in the previous video, which kind of led to me not working out as much, still eating a ton to maintain what I was doing when I lifted. And then, of course, the weight started to go up. And then after I went to the doctor to find out kind of what was happening, basically just getting a regular checkup, which anybody should do, I found out that my testosterone levels were, were much lower than they should be. Uh, and it wasn't like dangerous levels or anything like that, but it was definitely lower than what it typically should be. Or I guess once you hit 42, 43, it's usually what happens to men when you hit kind of that age range. And it was definitely something that I wanted to bring back up so that I had all that energy back. Uh, I definitely noticed over that year, a lot of energy just really decreasing all over the place. So I started to look around, started to check out the different options that I did have as far as uh, basically boosting my testosterone. And of course, I wasn't looking to do anything crazy. I wasn't looking for uh, anything that I'm not supposed to do. I wanted to handle it in the best way possible, basically going to a doctor, finding out what they recommend and doing that. And that's exactly what I did. So I reached out. So I started to do a little bit of research and I found basically a testosterone clinic. And I, I won't say which one. There's a bunch of them out there, but I won't say which one just because they do do good work for a lot of people. Uh, I think I'm just kind of a one-off case. Basically, it's just one of those things that can happen to certain people. So I went in, had the consultation, uh, found a clinic that was just right down the street from where I work, went in there, talked to them, got the blood work, basically did everything that I was supposed to do. And they came back with a program basically to boost my testosterone levels back up to where they should be. And from that point on, I started taking the testosterone injections that they gave me. And of course, if you don't know, it's literally an injection. You have to, and for these, and for this treatment, you're giving yourself your own injections, which I'm not a huge fan of needles, but they don't bother me that much. So it wasn't a big deal. You give your shot, you give yourself a shot in the leg and uh, it's, you're on and basically working out. So I started to go through, do that one for probably, I don't know, probably six months to a year before things started to kind of change. Uh, but for about probably the first six or eight months, 
I was doing the injections, everything was fine, going back in, getting regular blood work. And of course, everything was perfectly fine. Nothing was off the charts or anything like that. And I'd say probably about the first six or eight months, nothing really changed. I uh, didn't notice anything that was kind of out of the ordinary, no side effects or anything like that. And then probably after about six or eight months, I started to notice a few things. Uh, I started to notice something like uh, a little bit of uh, blood in the urine, which can be traced to a lot of different things. So I really didn't think too much of it. I did reach out to ask about it uh, and was told the same thing. It could be from a number of different things, but it was nothing alarming to the doctor. So they didn't need me to come in. And I was talking to my primary at this time. So I, I did reach out, try to do the, uh, the responsible thing that a lot of guys don't do and reached out, asked the medical professionals, is there anything I needed to do? And the answer was basically no. So I just kind of went on with whatever I was doing, uh, working out when I could uh, and kind of getting some of my energy back that I had definitely lost from the 42, 43 year. And I can't remember the exact timeline, but it was probably, I mean, it, I definitely noticed it right around the time when I actually had my blood clots. I uh, started to notice, I'd say probably about six or eight months leading up to that, my breathing started to get a little bit worse. And I honestly didn't know what it was from. When I went to the doctor, they told me that it was just normal, seasonal, cold allergies, whatever it was. Uh, so he put me on a few different things, basically Claritin and some stuff like that to try and clear things up. He was thinking that it was tied to, again, like I said, just seasonal cold symptoms and went on like that for, I'd say probably about the next year. And again, I never thought too much about it because like I said, I was going to the medical professionals asking them what I needed to do. And it wasn't up until probably a month or two before I actually had my blood clots that I thought maybe something was going wrong with the testosterone replacement injections. Um, definitely wasn't feeling right. I didn't know what they were really, I didn't know if they were causing it or not. Uh, I just felt like I just needed to stop them. So I went through and canceled uh, with the clinic that I was going through, told them that I wasn't going to be doing it anymore. I did send them an email to ask him about different things that was happening, like I said, with the blood in the urine or anything like that. And again, nothing really came of it. I never really pursued it because I wasn't really sure at the time if the if the test injections had anything to do with it. And of course, like a moron, I never really went and looked and did a deep dive into the negative side effects of testosterone replacement therapy, which when you go through it, and I did this after my blood clots, it literally outlines everything that was happening to me. And basically, I definitely, I won't say... <clears throat> I can't say definitively that's what caused my blood clots, but I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what caused my blood clots. I, I don't do anything else that would really lead to that. I don't have a family history of blood clots. And that was literally the only thing I was doing out of the ordinary that would lead to something like that. And of course, here it is two years later, I'm still dealing with the effects of the blood clots. Um, I, I still have a real hard time breathing. Uh, <coughs> uh, some of the medication I take makes me cough like that. I've had that cough for like going on two, almost two and a half years now. Very frustrating trying to get over that kind of stuff. And uh, I usually cut it out of the videos, but me talking too long, I get out of breath. And that's, and that's because of the lung and heart damage that was caused by the blood clots. So here I am now on the other side of this one, trying to basically strengthen everything back up, which again is part of the reason why I'm jumping on this diet, trying to get everything back down because obviously the blood clots did a number to my lungs and my heart. Uh, it doesn't help that I've put on so much extra weight since having the blood clots. And it's basically the two combined are basically getting it to the point where I can't do anything. I have no energy. Walking up a flight of steps absolutely kills me. I have to wait and stop for a couple minutes at the top because I just can't handle it. But thankfully, this is something that can get better over time. And obviously, the weight is going to help with that. But I've talked to the doctor a number of times, the hematologist, uh, going to see a cardiologist very soon and a pulmonologist very soon just to get as much help and advice and kind of a plan of action for this stuff so that I can basically strengthen everything back up. But I would say to anybody watching this one, definitely take your time doing, especially guys that once you get to the 40 range, uh, testosterone just naturally dips and everybody wants to bring it back up. And there are safe ways to do it. Uh, like I said at the beginning, there are safe ways to do testosterone replacement therapy. And my story is not for everyone either. Uh, it, maybe there could have been something else that I could have done right. Uh, it, I, I don't know. But I would definitely tell anybody out there looking to get into this one, definitely do your research. Talk to multiple doctors. Don't just talk to one. Talk to two or three. 
talk to a couple different clinics, maybe talk to see if you can find other people that have done it, what works well for them. But definitely don't go into it blind and try to find out as much as you can before you do that. But that's pretty much it with this one. I'm going to come back with another video. Uh, the diet is going okay. I haven't really jumped into it too much just because everything has been so busy. Uh, with this time of year with the candle business and regular work and everything like that. So I'm going to be showing a lot more in the coming weeks and coming months of basically everything I'm doing with the diet and basically start to have a little bit more accountability, like I mentioned before on the videos. So definitely hit subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts on this one, and we'll see you in the next video.